So a question that we get asked very often is, do I need or does someone need a vowel account in order to be able to join a meeting? And the answer is no. You can absolutely join the meeting as a guest. And we have lots of customers who meet with external clients or partners um, who don't have vowel accounts themselves. And you can absolutely invite them to meet on vowel with you. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. Uh, the first way is by sending them a link directly to your meeting room. So right now I'm in my personal meeting room. I'm the only one here. And when I'm the only one in my meeting, there will be a second tile that will say waiting for others to join and it will have the copy meeting room link button available to you. If there are multiple people in the meeting and you're looking for that meeting room link, it lives in the little info section of your meeting in the bottom right hand corner. So you can go ahead and find that meeting room link there or you can just copy and paste it um, from the browser URL. The second way um, would be to invite them to a Google Calendar event. So all they would have to do is click on the Google Calendar event and then the join vowel meeting link is right there. So I'm going to show you what the experience is when someone is sent a direct link or when they click on that link from their Google Calendar. So I'm signed into a different account here um, and I have two options. The first would be to authenticate with Google. You do not have to do this. A guest user does not have to do this. They can also just simply enter their name here in that um, enter your name box and then they'll be able to join the meeting. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what it means to if someone chooses to continue with Google a little bit later, but essentially it's a way for you to ensure easy access to the meeting recording uh, once the meeting is over. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and enter my name, say my name is Tom. And then I'll be brought to this screen where I can select my microphone and camera options and then I'll have the ability to um, request to join. At that point, I, as the member in the meeting, will get a notification that um, Tom has joined or has requested to join. I can choose to let Tom in or I can put them on hold or deny them entry. Another note about the Authenticate with Google is that if you chose to send them a Google Calendar invite instead of sending them a direct link and you actually put their Google um, email address on the invite, if they authenticate with Google on that join screen, then they will be able to get right into the meeting because you've already made them an intended participant and they've authenticated as that participant so you wouldn't get the notification or be required to let them in. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Tom in and then we are both now in our vowel meeting together. Tom is the guest, me is the member. So I'm gonna go back here and leave, um, this is Tom's experience here. Uh, when I leave the meeting, I'm brought to that, you know, direct uh, post-meeting screen um, as the guest. So, you know, I can see a summary, any bookmarks, action items, shared links. That is because as the member of the meeting, of the vowel workspace in which the meeting took place, as the non-guest attendee, I did allow my guest um, to see all notes, transcription and bookmarks, as well as edit notes, create bookmarks and so forth. So depending on the access level that you give guests for the meeting, um, will determine what they are able to see and not see. So um, then when I, so as the guest user, um, I can go back and review the meeting recording as long as I have the recording link. So I could, at the, after this meeting, once it all ends, I send Tom the recording link and then they'll be able to access at the level of which you've given them access. Or they could go back to their Google Calendar. So I could go back to a previous event. I could just click on that event and then say looking for a it would say looking for a past meeting here at the bottom and when i click on that 
then it will tell me that I've had one meeting as a guest in this particular workspace. And then I would be able to, to access that one meeting or any meetings where I was a guest attendee in that particular workspace. So I hope that helps answer any questions about the guest experience. And as always, you can reach out at support at vowel.com. And if anything wasn't clear or if you have more questions, then please let us know.